Hi, during this video, I'll be showing you exactly how easy it is to schedule any type of interview when working from your ATS. So in this case, I'm using Lever. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'll be showing uh, three different scenarios. So the first one is scheduling on behalf of a hiring manager and offering custom times. The second one is building an ad hoc panel. And the third one is using a more streamlined way of scheduling panel interviews. So as you can see, I'm on the candidate's profile and I'm going to proceed with this candidate to the phone screen. What I'll be doing is I'll be using the templates that I've already set up to send out to the candidate. Um, and this is also the real power of using Qualify next to Lever because it stays close to your existing workflow. And the only thing you need to do is use either the Chrome, Firefox, or Edge extension to create a scheduling request that you can paste into the actual email. Now, I'm using the Chrome extension and I'm going to book on behalf of one of the hiring managers. So in this case, Dennis is the hiring manager. As you can see, the candidate details have already been captured. So there's no need for me to add those into the actual extension. Um, and now I can create uh, an invite link if I'd like to, because I know there's 141 uh, slots available for the next two weeks. Um, it's using Dennis's Google Meet. So a unique Google Meet link will be added to the, uh, to the event. This can also be Zoom, Teams, or WebEx. I can add any description. And what I want to do is add a tag. So the whole purpose of tags is that it will trigger the feedback forms within Lever. Um, as you can see, it's taking Dennis his availability into consideration and I could potentially offer custom times and go a little bit off piece when I know Dennis is busy or not. So I can, now I can also offer time slots that are busy in his calendar, but I have a common understanding with Dennis to offer these time slots to the candidate. Let's add Monday as well. Create invite link, copy paste to the email. I can now send it off. So what the candidate will get to see is this. So this is branded to, uh, in our case, our made up company, Venetron. This could be your logo, your colors. Uh, as I mentioned, this is taking Dennis' availability into consideration, but I've booked over or offering his block times in his calendar. Uh, the time zone is automatically captured, so the receiving end will see this in their time zone. And this page is being translated into 17 different languages. So let's say Monday, the 10th of April, is the option we go for. So in this case, the candidate will receive an invite. The actual event is being created in Dennis's calendar which means uh, it's not appearing on my calendar, but as a coordinator, I have full control of the request. What happens now is, as you can see, it's pushing back the information into Lever and I will receive a notification via email. So I'm always aware of what's going on. Now, what happens as well is the link that you can use to schedule the meeting is being uh, added to the event. So that means the candidate can also reschedule, which may, is uh, quite easy and handy when, you know, a candidate can make it for whatever reason. They can reuse the same link based on the availability of the hiring manager, and there's no back and forth to uh, schedule an interview. So that's the first scenario. Uh, the second scenario is building an ad hoc panel. So let's say... Um, you know, Dennis again is one of the panelists and, uh, let's say Serena is also one of the panelists. So panel interview, there we go. So I can do the same thing. It's using, uh, Dennis is conferencing. If I make Serena the host, it's using her conferencing. Uh, I can add any tags and I can set working hours and allow rescheduling. As you can see, I already know that there's 108 slots available. Um, so that makes it easy for me to um, book this type of interview. Now, 
I can create the invite link and make sure I add a tag. It's going to be an on-site interview. Uh, create the invitation link. Copy. Make sure. There we go. And there we go. Second interview. I can add the link. Now, I'm not going to book this meeting. I'm going straight into the actual panel interview. So obviously I've already built an ad hoc panel, but now I would like to use the group functionality so you can streamline your process even more. So if you're using, let's say a group of five or six people and you need one or two of that particular group every single time, you can streamline your process and basically utilize it in templates. So what I'm doing now is selecting the panel interview. As you can see, the title has already been entered. Uh, I, I've already added description and the tag is already in there to trigger the feedback form. Copy, paste, and send it off. There we go. So as you can see, this is the same exact experience if I, as I've shown you before, uh, but now it's offering all available slots uh, out of a group of four. So I'm using two out of four, 45 minutes, uh, and let's say selecting a slot for the 12th of April. Again, rescheduling is available. So if for whatever reason the candidate can make it, they can reuse the same link. And the information will be pushed back into the lever. As you can see, so both Adam and Serena are uh, responsible for this interview. As a coordinator, I will again receive the notification. The events being created in their calendar. And to give you a brief overview of what's happening. So this is the group I'm using. So I can choose one, two, three, or all of them. We'll do the calendar Tetris and make the comparisons. I can add and delete members from this particular group and go from there. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if there are any questions.